Hi everyone, today I'm gonna to play with Megan's Clay White and Black Clays. And we are gonna go through and kind of create and add some purple textures to this. This is in reference to a collaboration, kind of a blog hop that's gonna happen with uh, a few other contributors, all dealing with all the musicians that we have lost. So I'm gonna try and incorporate a little bit of Day of a Bowie and also Prince in my collaboration. And the first thing I'm gonna start off with is I've got a wet cloth that I'm gonna keep all my clay damp that I'm not using at that moment. And I'm gonna blend some clay and just add some purple to it. So I just picked what purple paints I had on hand and I'm just gonna mix. I'm gonna speed this up so it's not. All right, so then I've got my colors. I, they obviously take the color quite well if you look at the original color that this started off as the paint. I just was experimenting with the, um, the mist to see what would happen. I didn't really mix up the mist too much, but it took a little bit of the color, which is pretty cool. So it, it definitely gives it a kind of a distress quality, a very lighter, but it works awesome. So I'm gonna roll these out and just kind of play with it and layer it up a little bit. Megan's clay can't do a true cane because it's a softer air dry clay, um, but we're going to see where we can go with it. So I'm just going to spray these, lay it over top, and start rolling them up. So now I've got a series of rods. I'm going to use the white for the outside as kind of the outside, so I'm just going to leave that for now. And I'm just going to kind of layer these up and just see where it's going to go. So the thing with Megan's clay is that you can't do two canes and this is the reason why. It's such a soft clay that see how everything kind of blends together and that's fine. I'm not looking for a pure, decisive, individual, little, you can see everything kind of a clay look. I really want a distressed look. So now that I've got my little pieces here, but you can still see that there's layers of colors going on and that's what I'm kind of going for here. So it's a different kind of a look than you would normally. So now that I've got my little pieces, I've got some larger and smaller. I think I'm trying to keep them all about the same. I'm kind of making little discs is what we're kind of going for. It's got a wider outer core and then I might do some fun stuff with these too. So here's my core and I've got these little pieces here. And they're gonna look a little bit different, each one. And I'm just gonna kind of smush them down and roll them out and see what happens. So it's gonna have, see, just kind of a modeled effect is what I'm going for. My 
different colors. And now I'm just going to use the different star shapes and just kind of cut them out and let them air dry. And that's kind of the effect. Something different. They all have kind of like this look in the middle and then this kind of striation. They almost look like eyeballs to me a little bit. I'm going to probably dress them up by putting some glaze on them and stuff. But I'm just going to kind of play. And this is going to go on and we're going to make a journal page with these fun little guys. journal page and I do not want these to be super thick so that's why I really wanted them nice and thin. And I'm probably going to do something with these little pieces too. Not quite sure yet but we'll see where we're going to go. These little sun pieces, um, these are from the Makin's Clay Cutter Sets. This is a three piece set and as you can see they kind of stack into each other. It's pretty fun and I've already done so two of the middle size. I'm just going to lay them up there to dry and I'm going to do small ones. I'm going to do a couple of small ones out of one of these. I think I can get two out of here. All right, so I've got my four long, and this is just the leftover pieces from making these. The reason why I laid all these out and really kind of rolled them out is because again this isn't a journal page. If I wasn't worried about having texture and thickness I probably would have kept them as rolls but this is a book that's going to get closed and I don't want it super thick. So everything I'm doing is going to be kind of thin I guess is the best way. So these are going to be my layers that are going to go here and I've got long ones on each end and I may have to trim them up which is fine. So while my clay is drying over here, it's getting there, it's just not 100% there, I'm going to let it continue drying. I'm going to work on the book. Now this is just my a little book a friend gave me, nothing fancy, I've done a couple of other pages in here and I just go through and I glue about four or five pages together on each side. This side's already been done from here and I'm just going to give it a base coat so that way we don't see the bottom and just to kind of give it a wash. I did a combination of two different gessos. This one's an acrylic primer, and this is a clear gesso. Um, this one's a pretty thick and just really, really thick gesso, and I don't want a super thick coat on this, so I combined it with a clear gesso. I didn't want to do just clear because I do want to give it a whitewash coat and not see the flowers behind, but this has got a nice, good consistency, a really soft consistency, so I blended them together. And all I'm going to do now is just coat the pages. Alright, now that the book is nice and dry, everything's got a really good coat, I'm just going to go ahead and coat it with two different colors of Glimmer Mist. I've got Pop Rocks and Dry Lavender, and I'm just going to spray coat all over. And I've got a little bit of a leftover one from... Um, another project and I don't even know what the color is but it's kind of a purplish color so I'll use a little bit of that one too. Alright so my paper has been sitting for a while and now I'm just going to start adding some fun layers and giving it kind of a labyrinthy feel so I'm really tying in labyrinth from David Bowie and the purple from Prince and just kind of blending these two wonderful artists together so let's have some fun.
I'm gonna add some more just kind of layers here. I'm just kind of having fun with my mists and just playing is the bottom line. So it's got a little bit of drying time left to go, but I'm calling it done. I really went to town on the three colors, which are purple, black, and white. And then with the black, there's the variations of the gray and there's different shades of purple, but I just really had some fun with this. So hope you enjoy. Thanks for stopping by. Please subscribe. Talk to you again soon. Bye-bye.